assalamu alaikum so today we are going to solve chapter number 4 subtraction within 10 page number 47 your book is book 1a so let's start worksheet 1a which is ways of subtraction we have different ways of subtraction so the first way which we are going to use is complete the subtraction fact here you can see we have some pictures by using these objects or pictures we are going to subtract the number so here you can see the number is 7 7 minus 4 so it means first you have to count the object 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now you have to subtract 4 so it means you have to cut 4 objects from the 7 and then you have to write the remaining objects so here you can see 1 2 3 4 we have cut the four objects and the remaining objects are 1 2 3 3 so 7 minus 4 is 3 so this is the first way to subtract the number this way is called subtraction by facts here you can see another example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total number of the fruits are 8 and we have subtract 1 2 3 so I have written here 3 8 minus 3 now you have to cut these 3 and count the remaining 1 2 3 4 5 when we count the remaining the remaining numbers are 5 it means 8 minus 3 is 5 now again count the strawberries 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the total number of strawberries are 10 now minus now you can see here are some of the strawberries which are cut so count the cut strawberries 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here I have written 7 now 10 minus 7 it means you have to write the remaining numbers of the strawberry 1 2 3 10 minus 7 is 3 move on to the next page which is page number 48 now here you can see subtract by crossing out this is the second way this way is called subtract by cross out same the first way here you can see we have the total number of object 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we have to subtract 1 from 6 so it means we have to cut one object when we cut one object the remaining numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 is 5 now again 8 minus 4 count the objects 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now you have to subtract 4 it means you have to cut 4 numbers 1 2 3 4 the remaining objects are 4 so 8 minus 4 is 4 <coughs> same as it is you have to count cut the objects and write the remaining numbers now move on to the next worksheet which is worksheet 1b page number 49 write your name class and date complete the number bonds fill in the blanks now here you have to solve the number bond with the subtraction we have already done the number bond number bond with addition now we are doing the number bond with subtraction so here you can see 9 minus 4 is 9 minus 5 is 4 first you have to count the objects 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total objects are 9 you have, now you have to separate 5 objects 1 2 3 4 5 after separating these 5 the remaining numbers are 1 2 3 4 so 9 minus 5 is 4 now you can see we always make the number born with the this method the whole number should be written here and the parts should be written like this so 9 5 and 4 same as it is we have how many buttons are square you have to count only square buttons first you have to count the total number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the total numbers and 2 are the difference 1 2 
so the remaining are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 are the 6 buttons are square now you have to make the number bond of this so you simply have to write 2 and 6 2 plus 6 will make 8 move on to the next page page number 50 again you have to count the complete number then you are going to count them separately and then you have to make the number bond you are going to make the bond with whole number and parts so this is the method of simple subtraction here you can see the total number of birds are 7 4 are flying and the remaining are 3 7 minus 4 is 3 so 3 birds are left now here you can see total numbers of cats are 6 2 cats were is with the strips and the remaining cats four cats do not have strips here you can see total number of fishes nine six fishes are small nine minus six is three so three fishes fish are big next worksheet worksheet number one C page number 51 now this is again a method of subtraction which is called counting back in addition we always do the counting forward and in subtraction we we do the counting back so here you can see 5 minus 3 it means you have to move three numbers back from 5 as you can see 1 2 3 so when you move back three numbers you reach to 2 5 minus 3 is 2 same as it is your number is 6 and you have to re move back two numbers so here you can see one two when you move two numbers back you reach at four so six minus two is four again you have nine minus eight so you have to move back eight numbers from nine one two three four five six seven eight so you have to reach eight and the number you reach is 1. So 9 minus 8 is 1. Same as it is 3. So you have to move 3 numbers back. 1, 2, 3. And you reach at 0. So this is the method of counting back. Move on to the next page. Page number 52. Here you have to subtract by counting back and then match. 7 minus 2. So you have to count back from 7 to 5 3 minus 1 is 2 9 minus 3 is 6 10 minus 2 is 8 6 minus 2, 4 2 6 minus 0 6 8 minus 3 is 5 so you have to match the same answers 5 and 5 8 and 8 6 and 6 2 and 2 so this is your today's explanation hope you understand if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much